We're in rural India outside of Aligarh and we're just investigating the solar situation here. There are 75 million households in India who do not have reliable access to uh, electricity where their only source of lighting to date has been kerosene lamps or they are in grid connected areas but have very poor energy availability only six to eight hours every day. What we provide to them is solar as a service uh, using a solar home system which comprises a solar panel which then charges the battery and then battery which then powers three lights and a fan. This is their power source. They figured out how to integrate it into their other electrical system. So obviously this house gets power sometimes, but not all the time. What's different about us is that we provide this to them as a service and on a deferred payment basis. So they have an opportunity of paying for it in easy installments. Sujapur, population 2000, and Simpa has 21 installed systems here. There's one on the roof right behind me there, there's another one over there, there's another one over there, and there's another one over there. If you ever want to know how to get a lot of attention, pull out a drone. <laughs> you get an audience real quick. So historically there have been two issues in providing electricity to uh, remote rural customers. Uh, one has been accessibility. Some of these villages are so remote that the cost of getting the grid to them is very high. The second problem is affordability. Most of the rural customers or rural people in India are reliant on um, agricultural income, which is very seasonal and therefore they find it very difficult to bind themselves into any sort of a regular payment plan. The way SIMPA is addressing this problem is by, through our solar home system, which is completely off-grid. We are making it uh, affordable for our customers by um, offering it on an uh, easy payment option plan, which we call pay as go Also, once you've paid for it over a two and a half year period or roundabouts, you can then own the system, and so a service then becomes an asset for the customer. Over the last one year, we have installed 6,000 solar home systems. In the coming year, we are looking to install another 27,000 systems. Bringing power to a rural household is like changing their quality of life completely. They now have access to light, which then enables the kids at home to study. This is a very good system. I hope that every person is used the system. This system is very, very nice. He uses his system to study at night to get his engineering degree because he wants to make a solar powered car that was inspired by that very solar electric system on his roof. It is the solar plate in the car. Uh huh. And uh, it's the wheel of my solar car. And it's the one of the battery in the solar car. This, this, this plate can be charged as this battery. Uh huh. Because I know that solar energy is very, very, very important in the future. And it means a lot to a rural person to be able to even charge their cell phone and be connected with the world. There are a lot of benefits that uh, are enabled by availability of uh, electricity and power at home. This episode brought to you by the U.S. Global Development Lab at USAID, applying science, technology, innovation, and partnership to ending extreme poverty. Nanda Purpala. We're in... We're in Nanda Purpala, a small rural village in India. And this is what village life is kind of like. Oops, I just stepped in poop. <laughs>